Hey YouTube, Crobat for the win here today, bringing you guys a 4th gen Wi-Fi battle versus Cooper. His link will be in the description. We are striving for 35 likes in this video, so if you would leave a like, it really would mean a whole heck of a lot. Now this is probably going to be my last 4th gen battle. Maybe if they get an unofficial hack going in the future, maybe there'll be another one somewhere. But this is my last real, authentic, Wi-Fi, 4th gen match. You saw the team preview? Just jump right into it. He leads out with the Jirachis, I lead out with a Purgly. I literally said to myself before this match, I, I really want to use a Purgly. I never thought I'd use one, ever. But I figured, what the heck, it's last hurrah for 4th gen, so I may as well. I just go for the, the Taunt, because I thought maybe he would go for something like a Stealth Rock, or a Trick, or something weird like that. Or I'm just gonna U-turn out as he sets up a Doom Desire, which was weird. I guess that that's gonna help him because Purgly's very frail. <laughs> That'll it, something's gonna take a lot of damage in the future. I'm gonna have to go into Regis Philbin though, because I kind of figure something like an Iron Head. I didn't see Draco, but that's fine because Regis Field takes that really well. But the Iron Head wouldn't have done anything. I figured if this thing wanted to go for uh, a Thunder Wave in the future, even though it's taunted, I figured it could take that as well. I thought it pretty much countered Jirachi fully. Uh, he's just gonna U-turn out of there as that does nothing at all. Registeel is just going to set up some Stealth Rocks because I kind of thought he may go into a ground type so I figured it would just be safer to set them up. He goes into Gastrodon so my prediction was indeed correct and I don't like this Gastrodon at all. The one thing that I feel comforted about is that that thing does not have Storm Drain and thank heavens for that. Unfortunately I'm going to have to take the Doom Desire attack and this is going to do a lot more than I would have expected proving that Purgly's bulk is non-existent. I go into God, Pelipper. This was inspired by one of Magnitude on YouTube's videos I saw a couple weeks ago. You know, the godlike Pelipper that lived a Lucario, Mega Lucario close combat, or something like that in one of the game, I don't know. So this thing's basically God. I'm just gonna go for a Surf as he switches into Skarmory. That's completely fine because that Surf does a solid amount. He's just going to set up his own Stealth Rocks, which I'm kind of, eh, okay, you can do that, I guess. Unfortunately, Defog doesn't work in this generation, so my Pelipper does not have Defog. But, I digress, I digress. He's going to switch out, he's going to go into Gastrodon, which I really did think that was fine. I'm going to go for the Surf, I highly doubt he has Storm Drain, because it was not really used ability back then. Remember, in 4th gen, Storm Drain did not increase special attack. It just absorbed Water-type moves. Which was a little, it's, we're not used to that today, I guess. Anyways, Pelper, Hidden Power, Grass, go! Except, uh, it doesn't do anything. I don't even know if that did a quarter. Pelper, I thought you were a god, what happened? Oh, wow. So that didn't go well at all. Pelper just cannot take this thing on. I'm going to go for a surf because I thought, eh, maybe it would do a little, so let's just compare the damage again. Nope. That's not happening. He's going to go for a recover. I, I honestly thought we were in a stalemate. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't have Toxic. Because if he had Toxic, that means I will probably lose this war. I'm just going to instigate a little bit more here. I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Grass again. Oh, jeez. Motorcycle or something outside. Ugh. And not, not against motorcycles. It's just it's interfering with this recording. Rah. Anyways, ignore that. I go for the Hidden Power Grass as... He does show the Toxic, so I am not happy about that at all, because now my wall, Pelipper, is poisoned. You can tell how happy I am about that, because I'm going to have to eventually switch out. This matchup is just not going to work. I'm kind of crit fishing at this point, but it seems as though the fish aren't biting today, and he has recovered, so I don't like that. However, I'm sort of comforted by one other thing. Scald does not exist in this game, which means I can switch into Caesar, get tons of damage off of the U-turn, and have no fear of a burn or a toxic, and I know I can take the Earth Power any day of the week. So that's exactly, after taking this poison damage, what I'm going to do. I just, I know I can't deal with this Gastrodon with this Pelipper anymore. It's just not going to work out. Alright, God, going back, going into Caesar. He's ready to go. He's going to take some Stealth Rock damage. Not a big fan of that, but once again, this thing is choice banded with U-turn, so this it's gonna hurt that a lot. He's actually gonna switch out, which was a pretty good play in his part because he doesn't want his Gastrodon to take a lot of damage. Because I think he knows it kind of 
at, le at least checks a lot of my team decently well. And I, I'm pretty sure he's aware of that, even though he hasn't seen the whole thing. If you don't remember, Team Preview does not exist in Gen 4. And actually, that U-turn almost KOs Jirachi, which was pretty awesome. I'm going to go into Purgly, so I don't have to show anything else on my team. And I just go want to go for the Fake Out. That's pretty much it at this point. I do go for the Fake Out on the incoming Swellow, which is probably going to be a Toxic Orb or a Flame Orb variant. They all are nowadays. Or at least in 4th Gen. I don't have not seen one in 5th or 6th Gen yet. But, that's fine. I, I know these things from 4th gen, and I know that they're faster than Purgly. And, to be perfectly honest, I did not think I would be able to take two attacks with really anything. Registeel was at low health, and Pelipper just get demolished by a facade on the switch in. So, I just let Purgly die. I know that this game can very easily be mine. If I just keep playing my cards right, I have the ultimate secret weapon still in the works. He, he's sitting on the team, and he's going to be ready. I just go for the bullet punch with Caesar. Once again, I don't want to reveal any new team members unnecessarily. He switches into Infernape, which I'm not a fan of. I'm going to go into my physically defensive Pelipper, which is a god, right? I thought it was. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I know he's going to set up a nasty plot, which is, whoa, I have not seen nasty plot Infernape since Gen 4. Alright, Pelipper, you could probably still take a hit anyways. What is he gonna have? Focus Blast, Vacuum Wave, Fire Blast, I don't know, Grass Knot, something like that? Nope! Hidden Power Electric. Of course. That's back in the days when things used to actually carry Hidden Power Electric, and Pelipper, the god, goes down. I gotta get a new game plan going here. I'm gonna go into Gator Time. He's here. My strategy's ready. This is it. It is Gator Time. Ready, set, he's gonna switch into Skarmory. I'm gonna go for the very safe Aqua Jet. And I'm actually going to, if you look at that damage, just look at it. What do you think's gonna happen? There you go, crit. The crit really didn't matter in the long run because, I mean, I could just, I could have waterfalled right now and probably KO'd anyways. So it really didn't matter, but it was just kind of made the moment funnier, I guess. That Skarmory is gonna go down. That's a huge threat out of the way, because now that thing can't roost or do anything stupid. For Alligator sitting pretty strong, it really is Gator time. It really is. He's going to go into Gastrodon. I don't feel threatened by this thing at all, because this thing does not have Storm Drain, once again. I feel good setting up a Sword Dance. I know I outspeed. We, we, we got this. We can beat this Gastrodon one-on-one. -on -one. He is going to go for that Earth Power. It's only going to do about 100-ish damage. So I, I know I could even take another one if I have to. I'm going to hopefully, hopefully KO with a Waterfall. I think the it's going to do about 100-ish damage. It's gonna, anywhere from 95 to 107%, if I remember the calculation correctly. So I have about roughly, I think, a 60% chance of KOing, and I actually score the one-hit KO. So that's great luck on for Alligator's part. He's sitting at 97 HP, doing, still doing work here. He's actually going to go into Doug Trio to go for the Sucker Punch. Not looking forward to that, but I think because of Feraligator's natural bulk, I should be able to live one, and I do! 3 HP, I'm gonna go for the Aqua Jet, and Life Orb is gonna take Feraligator out in a second, but at least that Doug Trio is gone. So we have Feraligator Gator Time has got three KOs on the day, which is amazing. He's saving this game. I'm gonna go into V equals IR, which is a physics equation. No, actually, it's an Electrovire. I'm Terribly sorry, I'm profusely sorry about that. But, he's gonna go into Infernape, which I'm not liking. He could have an Earthquake, maybe? He actually doesn't, which is cool. I mean, I figured maybe since he was Nasty Plot, he could run Mixed. He did say he had close combat, so I thought it was a possibility. He does just go for the Flamethrower, and he gets the Burn! But guess what? Mixed Electrovire, going for Thunderbolt. No, get out of here, Infernape. You're, you're dead. You're just dead. Unfortunately, Electrovire, even after doing that work, is going to die to an unfortunate burn. Which means physics equations are no longer valid. Oh god, then the entire universe implodes. Physics equations no longer work, we're all dead! Well, I guess we are all dead, at least on Cooper's side, unfortunately, because his Jirachi is going to die to Stealth Rocks, as I still have, I think, two Pokemon left. So that was a really solid game, though. Cooper. That was a really excellent game. We obviously got to see Gator Time, but we got to see a lot of old 4th Gen threats. Some 4th Gen Fun Pokes, and Pelipper. 
We saw Pelipper fail. We also saw it fail. And we saw it fail. So I think we've seen it all. I think this is a pretty intense ending to a general 4th gen saga. I, I can't say this is the last battle ever for 4th gen because maybe if there are unofficial servers in the future, maybe we'll have another one sometime. All I can tell you is look for, for I think I have one last 5th gen battle I'd like to show you guys and then from there it's pretty much going to be 6th gen consistently. Maybe an occasional 3rd or 2nd gen but that's about it. It's going to be mostly 6th gen. So hopefully if you like this video and maybe if you'd like to for the sake of 4th gen, leave a like on this video. We're going to strive for 35 likes. If you guys don't mind, that'd be pretty awesome. And like I said, for 4th gen, for its defeat, for its end, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. That would be really nice too. And moment of silence for 4th gen. And peace out, guys.